Right, we're back in uh, Lotro now for a lesson two of uh, Lotro. And in this video, we're going to talk about um, the trait panel, the deed log, the social panel, and the quest log. So I'll just show you them very quickly. Um, the trait panel is this one here. Um, the deed log is this book here. We'll show how that works. Uh, the social panel is this one here. Whoops, no, not that one. This one, social panel. You, you see it pop up there. Little um, information there. And the quest log, which is this one here. So let's just get rid of all them and go back to the traits panel first. Um, so as you progress through the game, you get points to spend on traits for your character. As previously mentioned, runekeepers have two skills, healing and fighting. Healing and fighting is done with the rune stones. Fighting is composed of cleansing flame and solitary thunder, and you can choose where to spend your points. Healing is composed of benediction of peace. So you can see this one here, benediction of peace is for healing and cleansing flame and sol solitary thunder is for fighting. For questing you can have uh, two setups and these are listed here, one and two. So I'll show you the, the way I've got them set up. DPS, this one here, tab number one, is for fighting where, where you spend most of the points on cleansing flame and sol solitary thunder. Um, heals is where you spend most of your points on benediction of peace, this one here. When in a fellowship or a raid you might be asked by your teammates to, um, to either fight or do heals. So you might be in a fellowship, there might be six of you attacking an enemy and your role might be to stand back and select your teammates and do heals on them so that they can attack and kill the enemy so that you can progress through the quest and complete it and then earn XP and ultimately level up and get to do more of the story. Um, um, uh, the role that you choose depends on uh, who you're teaming up with and you can change that very quickly just by going to the traits panel and switching over between tabs. Um, you can buy more tabs with um, uh, purchase an additional sh slot using Mithril for 100 Mithril and Mithril is something that you can buy from the Lotro store um, using turbine points which is ultimately cash that you spend in game. Um, <clears throat> so um, we're going to show um, how points are spent by re-specializing on heals. DPS requires some healing because um, I use DPS to go questing by myself. Most of the quests that I do, I do solitary um, and I require some level of benediction of peace so that I can heal myself because not only well when, when you're doing social stuff and you're playing with other players in game um, benediction of peace is really useful for that um, but when you're by yourself you also need it to heal yourself so a player a, a runekeeper can heal other people and he can also heal himself um, and actually, uh, what we'll do now is we're going to leave uh, DPS because that's the one that I use most of the time. And we'll, we'll just choose to re-specialize. So we'll remember roughly what we did. We've got a bit of Cleansing Flame, a bit of Solitary Thunder. Uh, but it's mostly spent on Benediction of Peace. So I'll re-specialize. Um, 27 pieces and 50 copper coins. Yes. Um, we, we want to... For tab number two, we've called it heals and you can rename them to whatever you want. But we're going to choose spec one, which is benediction of peace. Now we've got 27 points to spend, so let's just go up through these. Um, 
I'm just going to spend them willy nilly. Right, now that I've spent all them, if I apply, actually just watch this region down here because I think these icons might change. And these are the uh, in, the skills that y your Runekeeper has, so when I apply them, see if that changes. Well, you notice that we got these two additional. And then what you can do is say if you like any of these skills you can then move them into this bar here and these are numbered 1 through uh, to 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0 and those correspond to the keys on your keyboard there's a shortcut command for the other ones but some people just use their mouse when they're questing and uh, we can show how that's done but you need to select an enemy in order to use them or another player um, so we'll have to show that later. Next is the D log. Um, that's this one here. So um, we're going to show the different regions in Eriador because Eriador is the region that I've most um, explored. And if I go to the map and bring up uh, Eriador, um, you can see most. All these regions I've explored. Um, so you need to complete a number of things to complete a de deed. Uh, we'll show uh, Rovanian and Gondor as well. Um, but as you can see, if you go through these, this is for Eriador, you've got Bree, the Shire, and all of these uh, deeds I've started working on, like some of them are partially complete, like that one. Three of them were complete, but I didn't get the overall D because only three or five are completed. And if you go through Lone Lands, North Downs, Troll Shores, Misty Mountains, Evendim, Ammar, Forakel, Eregion, Enderwith, and Dunland. Let's just go to one of these. Um, North Downs, Troll Shores, Misty Mountains. Probably better off going to the region that we're in currently. No, possibly have a look. Have a look at Ered Lewin where he started. Um, so, if we go to the map of Eriador first, we can see that Ered Lewin is up here. and these these um, little plus icons that appear, when you click on them, you move into the region. So we can look at Ered Lewin like that, and that's what it looks like. Middle Earth in Lord of the Rings Online is absolutely huge, unbelievably big. It's a huge world. And in all these places, you're doing lots of quests and progressing through the most epic story that I've ever explored in my life. I mean, um, I'll, I'll show you in a bit in the quest log, but Volume 1 of Shadows of Anmar took me 200, over 200 hours to complete. So you, there's four volumes, and you can see just how big this game is once you get into it. Absolutely massive. It's unbelievable. Um, next, quickly, we're going to show the social panel. Uh, we'll, we'll show more about the deed log later. Actually, just quickly, uh, the other areas are Rohavanian and Gondor, which aren't complete yet. Which actually, if you bring up the, the map, you can see Rohavanian and Gondor. Um, there's lots of regions in there. Um, if we go to Rohavanian like that, it's just a slightly different region in Middle Earth. And all these have a plus on them, so you can look at them like the others. But all these regions are new. This is part of part of volume 2 and volume 3 of uh, Lotro. Um, let's see, bring up the map again like that. 
and got a grand door like that. And you, you can look at any of these. We haven't got to Mordor yet. Osgiliath, that's. Oh. Let's just have a look at Grandor again. Um, where's Minus Tirith? Uh, I don't even know. Anyway. Um, we'll look at the social panel, which is. No, that's the character panel. This is social here. Um, I want to point out that recently, well, there's no nobody seems to be online at the moment, and that's because recently there were some world transfers and so, server closures. So this server, Imladris, that I'm on now, is effectively being closed pretty soon. And they're expecting everybody to choose a, no, a new server to go to. Basically, they're reducing the number of servers because um, they they want they want to consolidate the the core. They're changing the core business to get more people online at the same time. Um, uh, who knows what? Whatever the reason is, we're all moving to these different servers now, and there's there's fewer servers than there were before. Um, but I've still got a few people in my friends list. These are obviously people that haven't moved yet. Um, they might have been in the game a long time ago and just left the account unused for a long time. And that's why, why they're still listed. The reason I know that is because this friend list used to be populated with all sorts of people. There was a huge list going down. Um, Uh, we'll show more of the social fe features after I've transferred because this is a MMO so it's a massively multiplayer online game and social is a big aspect of this game so we could possibly uh, team up with some people and go questing and get po possibly even record some videos of uh, other people playing the game with me at the same time, which a number of people have already done on YouTube before. Um, <clears throat> next of all, I'm just going over to my uh, notes again. We're going to look at the quest law, which is this one here. Um, so we're going to talk about regular quests and the epic quest line. Epic quest line is the primary narrative, but there's lots of side quests as well. We'll show the wiki um, just by going like this. This is the wiki available through a web browser. And you can see Volume 1 Shadows of Anmar is the one that I've completed. That took over 200 hours, about 212 to be exact. Um, but you can see there's Volume 2, Minds of Moria, which I'm about to start. Volume 3, Allies of the King. And Volume 4, The Strength of Sauron. And it, it just goes on and on. They're, they're really releasing more content um, every so often. Um, including, sorry, increasing or expanding the, the world of uh, Middle Earth Online to build a much bigger game. Uh, obviously one day the story is going to be complete and then we'll just see what happens but this is an absolutely huge game as I've said before. Um, so let's go back over to Lotro now. Um, I'm just going to bring my notes back up. Um, <coughs> um, you're going to see, uh, you've already seen that it's split into different volumes. I've completed volume one. It, it, during the completion of volume one, I reached uh, level 56, which is not actually that high because some of the characters are level 100 and who knows what's going to happen. But you can see there, level 56 also says down at the bottom here and in the character panel just there. Um, 
So there's still lots more for me to do and hopefully I'll be able to capture most of that. Now that I know the inner workings of how everything, all the panels work and basically the game itself, I should be able to capture a lot of um, my gameplay online. Um, basically all the sessions I'll put probably time lapse some of it and show the progress and everything. We'll see what happens. Um, so we need to show how these um, quests appear on the map. Um, first of all, you see you see this one with the ring highlighted here. That that brings it into the quest log. Um, the um, tracker. This is the tracker here. If you go high tracker, it'll disappear. So this is the tracker. Um, and turning these on, th this is just a checkbox to toggle on the visibility of toggle on and off the visibility of of a quest. And I happen to know that this one's in a region because uh, it's by the walls of Moria. So if I go to the map, show map, area door, go to area door. I I, I don't technically have to do that, but a region. Go straight there. You can see when I hover my mouse over this quest that um, the the red regions, the the ring that's in red and the region of the map that's in red um, flashes on and off. That means that I've got to travel to that area um, in order to complete the quest. Uh, so I need to travel to Eked Dunnan. I don't know how to say it. But you can see this here um, is a stable master because if you go to filter and I'm showing stable masters when, when I toggle that on and off you can see the stable masters appear. So at the moment I'm in, let me just toggle that off. Um, I think I'm in the north down so let's have a look. Um, yeah you can see my uh, character swatch there. I'm in the North Downs and there's a Stable Master in a Steldin. So if I go out of this building and go to the Stable Master in a Steldin, I'll be able to travel to um, a region, um, eventually get into this Stable Master here, um, and you'll see the horse running about when I do that, and then go and complete these quests. And then pretty much I, I'm waiting to find out which server my friends have moved to because if you if you see um, this down here is the chat panel. Um, I can say is there anybody out there? I know for a fact that literally nobody's on this server anymore. Everybody's moved but I just don't know where they all went so... I'm waiting for a reply through the social networks to find out which one to migrate to. And there's five. I, I'm on a US server because um, I've got a friend that I met on one of the chat groups for uh, the book on the OneRing.net. And she introduced me to um, Imladris, which is this server. But Imladris has closed and there's, it's, it's been reduced down. There's five other servers. I have to move to one of those. But I've sent her a message on Skype saying, asking her which one she moved to. When she replies, um, that's the one that I'll go to. And we'll be able to do much more social stuff once there's a lot more people available online. Um, so um, we're going to complete a quest to show how quests are turned in and point out um, XP, how XP goes up during completion of a quest. So, um, what I'm doing now is I've got to travel outside to the stable master. Um, let me just go to the top here. Uh, um, record time is 19.30. Does that go up when I do that? Yeah. Right. So it doesn't update, but yep. Uh, it's night time. There's some chickens. Um, in fact, K mounts. Uh, we'll do the grey pony. You can 
can run faster on a pony. The stable master is should be just over here. Oh, it seems to have paused. What's up? Hmm. I have no idea why that happened. Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody home? <laughs> oh, he was a stable master, I'm sure of it. Let me just go to the map. No, it must be through there. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is. Let's just bring... Okay. Mounts. Grey pony. Turn it off again. Let's hope that it doesn't pause this time. You can see the horse there. I know for a fact the stable master's just there. Um, hopefully by the time I'm back in Lotro, um, We'll be on a different server. Oh, oh! I, I just thought somebody would come in, but that's the ranger. Um, Evendim, I think the best way to go from here would be back to Breeland, West Bree, and then go to South Bree, and then travel to a region from there. So let's have a look at the map. You can see it's running, but I think I chose swift travel. So um, you'll see the um, opacity of the character and the horse fade out in a second and it'll just be pretty much teleported over to West Bree. Right, uh, Stable Master again. Uh, Breedy Land, South Breeze with Travel. What do you need? Most people, uh, a lot of people have shown video games like Lotro before on YouTube. Oh, that is terrible. I think Lotro is just literally, um, seems like it's just literally ended so i'm going to pause the video and then come right back in after right we're back to the home screen let's see if we we've got the same location when we go back in no idea what happened there sometimes the uh, server times out and boots you off and just crashes and closes we, we should be somewhere in brie was halfway through a swift travel and it looks like it's dropped us miles away from anywhere. Is this Southbury? I see the uh, stable master pop up. No? I don't even know where we are. Let's go to the map. Right, the stable master is just down there so could bring up my horse. One of my mounts. Grey pony will do. That that grey pony, by the way, is um. I think it was called Bill, Bill the pony that they picked up in Bree and took to the mines of Moria. I can't remember. Uh, here we go. There's another stable master. I can't recall where I found Bill. Somewhere in the region, I think. Just outside the gates of Moria. By the way, this um, Lotro doesn't follow the, the same narrative. Of the, the epic quest line is not based on the same narrative as the characters from the, the original to story by Tolkien, where the, the company of nine travel. It... it it, it's not like the films or the book at all. It's based around that, so um, yeah, the the, the narrative is very different, really. 
I'll explain more about that later. Um, Eregion, anybody see that? Um, no? I think we might have to go to the troll shows then. Let me just check. Map. Look at area door. Um, I'd say the troll shows are pretty close to our region and that's probably what we have to do. A bit of a long way of going about things. Let me just check my bags. This is because in the last video I was showing uh, how um, leveling works in an MMO. I could do with emptying some of my bags actually. But I'll probably do that off cam later. Region. Uh, region. Is it Eked Dunan? I, I think we've established that already, but let's have a look. At a region, which is where we want to go for the next quest. Down here, Eked Dunan. Swift travel and help, which we've got. So let's go there. And what I'll do is, I'll just turn this one quest in, get the next one in line, and then end the video right there. If we go up here, we can see the video is 26.35 already. So uh, that looks like it's going to be enough. Also, my girlfriend's back home in an hour, so um, we'll just ignore them. Whoops. Can we, can we just, uh, we have to select them and say decline and then do the same for that. Right. Map, um, it actually says we want to collect thick branches in that area. So I'll just, um, you can see my swatch there. Um, you just use the, the arrow keys to point him in the right general direction. Uh, bring up your horse, K to bring up the skills panel, go to mount and then choose one, one of your steeds and just run in the general direction. You can see also on the map up here, um, whoops, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, oh, we're, yeah we're in, we're around about the gates of Moria now. Um, you can see on the map up there that the this ring here, there's an arrow, and that's the general direction that you want to run in to, to get to um, the region on the map where this quest um, takes place. Not that way, probably. What am I doing here? I think it's this way, isn't it? This might actually be a long video if you watch all of this, but I'll try to keep my videos less than an hour. And obviously, if you, there's going to be a lot of content on my site. So if you don't like any, if you don't like certain parts of the video, you can always. Well, you know for a fact that you can just skip uh, to different regions of the site and watch different videos. So we need to collect thick branches, so we need to be looking out for that. Just look on the map and see roughly where you are. I think we're in about the right region here. So there's a thick branch there. So just go up to it, um, use the interaction button, which is just double click like that. Gets off his horse and, and does that. Um, let's see, let's have a look. I think there's another one just there. And what we'll do is we'll turn this one quest in and then um, I'll show you the way the XP goes up from turning a quest in. And we'll, we'll end it there, because then I'm waiting to find out which server they all move to and uh, continue on the journey of Lotro. Because uh, 
ultimately I would like to complete this game one day and show all the the Maya projects that I've done, the Unreal Engine and C++ class that I'm I'm kind of teaching C++ but I'm not really teaching it, I'm just giving people a tour so that they know what I can do because hopefully you know I would like to work in video games but it's a bit of a pipe dream at the moment so I just have to see what's going to happen thick branch up there as well I think I can see one right over there too. You can see you can see down here in chat that literally nobody's in world chat. I've got um a spying Kribane attacking me so I'll just select him and, and do away with him. I could do with reorganize oh, I'm on DPS now. What I want to do I'll just get rid of this guy first. Now I I forgot to set it back over to uh, thingy uh, to DPS on the church panel. So let's go back to DPS. You can see how all these swatches changed, and that that's more useful. That's what I normally use when I'm fighting in game by myself. Got some better skills lined up on the keyboard for that. Um, that's my branch. That's five out of six. And um, there's one down there as well. Six out of six. Doesn't allow me to say that I've completed that yet. Um, let's just see. I'll just get this guy as well. Um, bring thick branches to help Bori with the task you gave him. So I'm just going to go to one of these um, red rings now. These ones here, because they highlight when I when I roll over so so it's just one of these guys you can see just in the distance up there that's Bori so I need to speak to him um so normally when I'm playing the game I'd read all that and just enjoy reading because uh, I like to read and that's a good thing about MMOs it gives you lots of reading to do while you're playing so you can keep your mind sharp and then do all the gameplay stuff as well but I'll just accept that um, before I do actually when I accept it just watch uh, the XP down here it's 267,413 through 276,502 so when I complete this I'm going to get some XP for it it may even level up which you might see going from level 56 to 57 uh, depends how many I get so let's just see oh no I I got this uh, keeping sharp Collect suitably sharp Eregion stones for Bori. So it looks like it's part two. Um, keeping sharp. So let's just turn around and go back in and do some more stuff. Um, Eregion stone. I've, I need, I've already got two of them, so... I just need another, another four. That's one. Two. 
in the right region. Let's just get rid of this Kraban. Kraban. It's just some sort of crow creature, isn't it? Um, right, I'm looking for more of the stones. Would it be safe to go kind of in this general direction? Looks like. Should be lots of them. Uh, I've got a guy chasing me now, one of those crab on, but I've got a stone there. So. Looks like. Bring the stone to Bori. So back, back over to one of these guys. I might as well go to, to this guy this time. Not hard to get up there. Sorry, I'm not doing a very good job with the camera here. Uh, let's just go up here. No, um, let's see. Keeping sharp, that one, it wants me to go over here. So the bottom of the steps again. And we'll see if this time it completes the quest. Just finish now, that's what we're looking for. Um, so you, at the bottom of the screen here, 276,000 through 200, 267 through 276. See if it goes, if the, if the first number here goes higher than the second number then it'll level up to 57 but if not we'll just get some XP but you'll see that if you watch it so we've got 273 um, I might as well show you the leveling up actually if, um, if I just run over to this other guy um, Thick branches to Borsi. I've already done that, I think. We'll go to this other guy. And if we get a finish now, you'll be able to see it level up, actually, which will be interesting for you. Um, should have got a level 57. As always, Continue quest. Talk to Bozzy. Hmm. Oops. That is Bozzy. Finish now. Must select one. Okay. Bozzy's necklace. But now you'll see it level up. And actually, now we've got the next quest in the chain, so. This is still epic. If you go quest log, epic volume 2 book 1. So I've completed all of volume 1. This is volume 2 book 1. If I go here, you can see that's the quest there. Let me just end that. It wants us... No, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll accept these this time. Um, and then when we move over to the new server, all that stuff will be there. I would like to get rid of that showing. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Um, let's just go to that. Finish later. Finish now. Finish now. That gets rid of it. But anyway, let's go back to the map. And this time, cousin. It says talk to Broger. So cousin Broger is up there. So that's what we need to do when we come back into the game. But like I say, I'll be moving to a different server before I do that. And then we'll pick up 
in uh, Moria and hopefully so show a lot more of the social features of the game and questing and honestly there's a ton of things that I can show so hand tight also on the site there'll be more Maya more Unreal Engine more C++ so jobs are good and thanks for listening guys